Okay, a ton of kiddos spent time reading and learning over the summer break, and we have a few of these kids right here. These are all the achievers with us today. Well, not all of them, but some of them. And they were a part of the Sacramento Public Library summer reading program. We have along with us right now, we have Director Rivka Sass and Youth Service Manager Christy Ham. Wave, ladies. Say hello. hello. Okay, so uh, uh, Rivka and uh, Christy, tell us, what makes the summer reading program so darn important? Well, I'll start. She'll okay. finish. Yes. We need kids to read every single day. So when they, when they end school in the summer, if they keep reading, they're going to retain all those great skills that they learned mm -hmm. during the school, school year. And the library is the best place to do that. Absolutely. So we're trying to avoid the summer slide, right? That's Absolutely. right. Okay. And it was an incredibly successful year. So yay. 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 A little round of applause there. <laughs> Um, and uh, tell us how many books were read so far this season. This is an amazing summer. We are on track to have read over almost half a million books half throughout million. the county of Sacramento, a bunch of different locations, and almost 40,000 readers. So this is an amazing accomplishment. It's definitely our highest ever, and uh, thanks to all of you. And it's readers of all ages. So people like these people and whose parents have been reading people all summer. Like and the reading counts for them and for their parents, too. Yeah, and we were just you know talking about things that bond generations. Obviously, music is a form of that, but reading clearly in my opinion, really takes the cake. Because this is something that as parents, we can sit down with our young ones just like this and share the love of reading and, and teach them that you know the world can begin in a book. You can go anywhere in a book. You can learn anything from a book. My grandmother used to say, if you can read, you can, you can do anything. Because you truly can. Um, it's so absolutely awesome, almost a half million books. And when we, when we talk about reading books, we're also talking about um, years of learning, right? So every time there's a book that's read, that means that we are taking away of, from learning loss. So how much, how many years would you say of learning loss we were able to kind of cut out of the picture with all these books so far? Sure, this summer our students in the 0 to 17 have erased almost 2,000 years of summer learning loss. If reading five books over the course of the summer erases about two months of that summer learning loss, we have made a big dent in that in Sacramento. That is absolutely fantastic and I understand too um, all of our children up here were fantastic readers. I want to do yes. a little round of applause for Yay. all of them. Great job, you guys. Keep up the great work. And a uh, little gentleman here, too, on the very end read 215 books. Is that right, buddy? Can you wave at the camera? Just just give him a nice big wave. So we, uh, There you go. Nice job. And you know what? I, I want to find out because I know that some of our little readers here, they have some favorite books, and they're really excited. Uh, young lady, uh, go ahead and tell us your name. Hazel. Hazel, what is your favorite book? What Will Fat Cat Sit On? Can you, you brought it with you today, too, huh? Can you hold that up? Show everybody. Oh, turn it around <laughs> the other side. There you awesome. go. What Will Fat Cat Sit On? What's your favorite part of the book? Is there a very funny part in the story? My favorite part is at the end. At the end, what happened? There's a mouse in it, <gasps> and at the end he says, Now what will fat cat? Had for lunch. <laughs> oh, uh oh, I think we can all imagine what a fat cat had. Thank you so much, Hazel. Um, so very exciting to see just how much kids really pull from books. Um, what you know, what are the benefits from children reading? Because it's so fundamental. Absolutely. Well, part of summer reading is making reading fun for all ages. So we have things like you can win a bag or a medal or a book to keep. We think having books in the home is the most important part of making sure that kids have those tools to practice reading. So we try to make it fun, and all of these guys read at least 25 books and earned their medal. So it's kudos to them and their families for making that happen. That's absolutely fantastic. And I know the summer reading program itself is kind of wrapping up a little bit here. Um, but what can we expect from the library in the fall, too? Lots of things happening at all of our libraries. Obviously, we have story times for all ages for, for uh, at all of our locations, over 200 a week for kids and their families to learn together, as well as programs for school-age kids, for teenagers and adults, too. Always something great at Sacramento Public Library. Absolutely. It's an uh, incredible resource. Uh, I know we have a couple extra books up here, too, that I know that some of them um, um, my nine-year-old daughter has uh, read and absolutely loved. Roller Girl is, is a big one. And I know we have a young lady up here, too, who, there you are. Hi, Sweet Pea. Um, and she read a couple of books. I'm going to hand the stick mic on to you. Pass it on down. Mm -hmm. Do you, can, can you tell us one of your favorite books? Uh, the Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian. Ooh, that's an absolutely fantastic great book. Good choice. Oh, right. you, you've got the Sacramento Public Library director excited about that one, right? So, and Melissa, yes, because you're such a champion, we believe you deserve a summer reading oh, medal too. Oh, thank you, so, Rivka. There you go. Excellent. Yes, and and for those of you uh, who uh, 
who tune in all the time here on ABC 10, you know that we are huge supporters of the summer reading program. We have the 10 books to read. Uh, we encourage you to instill that love of reading with your, with your family, with your friends, with your little ones, just like our parents here have today. So uh, once again, congratulations to them. Thank you so much to our friends at the library. We'll see all of you back here tomorrow as we bring value home at 9 o'clock right here on Sack and Go. Bye-bye. Awesome. Thank you, Rivka. <laughs>